In this video, I will show you an example of Jenner diode clipper circuit. Here, I will show you how to calculate the output voltage, how to draw the output waveform and transfer characteristics for this given network. Finally, I will show you the simulation of the given clipper circuit. See, this is our given circuit in which we are applying an input voltage VI with positive maximum plus 20 and a negative maximum minus 20 volt. In the circuit, we have this resistor of 1 kilo ohm. Here we have this Jenner diode whose Jenner voltage will be 6.2 volt and we are taking the output across this terminal to this terminal. The simulator I will be used in the circuit will assume the Jenner diode built-in potential is equal to 0.8 volt. Therefore, when I will replace the Jenner diode with its corresponding equivalent circuit, I will consider the built-in potential or forward voltage of the Jenner diode equal to 0.8 volt. Now, let me proceed with the circuit solution. To solve this circuit, at first, we have to identify the regions in input voltage VI for which the Jenner diode will operate in forward bias in non-conducting state or in off state and in Jenner breakdown region. See if we look at the IP characteristics of a Jenner diode, we will see that the Jenner diode operates in three different regions. If the applied forward voltage is greater than built-in potential, our Jenner diode will be in forward bias. If the applied reverse voltage is greater than the Jenner breakdown voltage Vz, the Jenner diode will operate in the Jenner breakdown region. And between Jenner breakdown and the forward bias region, there will be a no conduction or non-conducting or off state in case of Jenner diode. Now consider the positive half cycle of the input voltage. During positive half cycle, this terminal will be positive. This terminal will be negative. The positive terminal of the applied voltage will be connected with the N side of the Jenner diode and the negative terminal will be connected with the P side of the Jenner diode. In that case, our Jenner diode should be in reverse bias. Now, if we look at the reverse voltage of the Jenner diode, as long as the input voltage VI will be less than Jenner voltage Vz or 6.2 volt. The Jenner diode will be in non-conducting or in off state. When the reverse voltage Vi will be greater than 6.2 volt, our Jenner diode will be in Jenner breakdown region. In that case, the Jenner diode will act as voltage regulator. So if this is our applied input voltage and if I indicate the margin of 6.2 volt with this dotted line, you will see this region will indicate VI greater than 6.2 volt for which the Jenner diode will operate in Jenner breakdown region and this region of the applied voltage VI between 0 to 20 volt during positive half cycle will indicate the non-conducting state or off state of the Jenner diode. Now if I consider the negative half cycle of the applied voltage. During negative half cycle this terminal will be negative and this terminal will be positive. The positive terminal of the applied voltage will be connected with the P side of the Jenner diode and negative terminal will be connected with the N side of the Jenner diode. In that case, the Jenner diode 
should be in forward bias but from the forward characteristics we see that as long as the applied voltage will be less than the built-in potential the Jenner diode will not conduct any current therefore our Jenner diode will be in off state and in case of this circuit I will assume the built-in potential of the Jenner diode is equal to 0.8 volt therefore if I indicate the minus 0.8 volt here let's say that means I am talking about this region as long as VI will be greater than minus 0.8 volt the Jenner diode will not conduct any current or the Jenner diode will be in this region or in non-conducting state or in off state so the voltage between minus 0.8 to 6.2 volt will indicate the off state of Jenner diode now see if VI becomes less than minus 0.8 volt we will get sufficient voltage to keep the Jenner diode in forward bias in that case the Jenner diode will be in forward bias that means I am talking about this portion of the applied voltage if VI is less than minus 0.8 the Jenner diode will be in forward bias or the Jenner diode will be in this operating region so this is our applied input voltage in which I have separated the region of Jenner diode operation so if I talk about this region when VI is greater than 6.2 volt that means I am talking about this portion of the applied voltage In that case the Jenner diode will operate in Jenner breakdown region and from the equivalent circuit of Jenner diode we know that when the Jenner diode operates in Jenner breakdown region it will act as voltage regulator in that case I can replace the Jenner diode with its corresponding equivalent circuit for Jenner breakdown region the Jenner diode will act as voltage regulator that means I can replace the Jenner diode with its corresponding Jenner voltage of 6.2 volt that means as long as our input voltage VI will be greater than 6.2 volt I can replace the Jenner diode with a voltage source of 6.2 volt like this in that case you will see between this terminal to this terminal I will have a constant voltage source of 6.2 volt as a result our output voltage will be fixed at 6.2 volt as long as VI will be greater than 6.2 volt so here our output will be at 6.2 volt or I will get a constant voltage line like this now see if I talk about this region when the input voltage VI will be between minus 0.8 volt to plus 6.2 volt the Jenner diode will not conduct any current or Jenner diode will be in off state and from the equivalent circuit of Jenner diode we know that when the Jenner diode will be in off state we can replace the Jenner diode with an open circuit if I replace the Jenner diode with an open circuit I will get a circuit like this as the circuit is an open circuit the current in the circuit I will be equal to zero as the current will be equal to zero I R voltage drop across the one kilo ohm resistance will be equal to zero that means our output will be equal to V I or output has the same waveform as the input voltage C from this point to this point our input is changing like this so our output will follow the input voltage from this point to up to minus 0.8 volt our input is changing like this so our output will follow the input voltage VI okay see 
from this point to this point our input is changing just like this our output will follow input voltage vi now consider this case of applied voltage when vi will be less than minus 0 0.8 volt this red shaded region will indicate the vi is less than minus 0 0.8 volt in this region the Jenner diode will be in forward bias as a result we can replace the Jenner diode with its constant voltage drop model or with a voltage source whose value will be equal to the built-in potential of the Jenner diode and I will assume the built-in potential of this Jenner diode is equal to 0 0.8 volt so if I replace the Jenner diode with its built-in voltage i will get a circuit like this so we will see we will have a voltage source of 0 0.8 volt connected between this terminal to this terminal as a result our output will be equal to minus 0 0.8 volt as long as vi will be less than minus 0 0.8 volt so output will be fixed at minus 0 0.8 volt and you will see from this point to this point output will follow the input voltage after that output will be fixed at 6.2 volt from this point to minus 0 0.8 volt output will follow the input voltage that means i'm talking about this region vo will be equal to vi after that output will be fixed at minus 0 0.8 and from this point to this point vo will be equal to vi so this will be our complete output waveform now i will show you how to draw the transfer characteristics of the given clipper circuit transfer characteristics shows the relation between the output and input waveform here we will take the input in the x-axis and output in the y-axis and this is the input waveform and this is the output waveform which we got from the circuit now see i at first i have to establish a mathematical relation between output and input voltage here we know that when vi will be greater than 6.2 volt output will be fixed at 6.2 volt so i can write vo is equal to 6.2 volt for vi greater than 6.2 volt For input voltage VI between minus 0 0.8 to plus 6.2 volt, VO will be equal to VI. VO will be equal to VI. For input voltage VI between minus 0 0.8 to 6.2 volt and when vi will be less than minus 0 0.8 volt our output will be fixed at 0 0.8 volt so this will be the relation between the output and input waveform so let's say this is our 6.2 volt any value of the input voltage in the right portion of this 6.2 volt will indicate vi greater than 6.2 volt when this vi will be greater than 6.2 volt our output will be fixed at 6.2 volt so here we will get a constant voltage line like this okay now see from minus 0 0.8 let's say this is that minus 0 0.8 volt 0.8 minus 0 0.8 to 6.2 volt our output voltage will follow the input voltage or vo will be equal to vi we can establish this relation by using the straight line equation y equal to x this indicates that vo equal to vi will go through the origin and this will be a straight line Okay, so I will get a straight line like this. When Vi will be less than minus 0 0.8, that means any value of the input voltage 
in the left portion of this minus 0 0.8 will indicate this region vi equal to minus 0 0.8 in that case vo will be fixed at minus 0 0.8 volt that means i will get a constant voltage line here which will indicate vo equal to minus 0 0.8 volt and this will be the transfer characteristics of the given network so this is our circuit in the simulator if I run the simulation, you will see the blue waveform will be our input waveform and the green waveform will be our output waveform. See the maximum value of input voltage is plus 20 and the negative maximum is at minus 20 volt. See initially the green output waveform is following the input waveform and it will follow input waveform up to 6.2 volt when the input will be at 6.2 volt output will be constant because the generator will act as a voltage regulator so output will be fixed at 6.2 volt now see after this point our output will also follow the input voltage and during the negative half cycle our output will have its maximum value negative maximum value at minus 814 millivolt because this generator diode assumes the built-in potential of this generator diode is 0.81 volt therefore we will get negative maximum of minus 814 millivolt in the output terminal for the given network